I'm no longer worried about noise in my pictures. I used to be uh, worried all the time about keeping the ISO as low as possible to avoid any noise in the picture. Um, and I went to sort of extent where I'd reduced the shutter speed to too slow really. Um, so now I don't worry about the ISO at all, one little bit. And the reason is Topaz. Now Topaz, we've got Topaz Denoise AI and it's just fabulous. I'm going to show you uh, a demonstration of it in a minute. It gets rid of noise from even a 3200 and gives you really acceptable results. For something quite extreme, I'll use Topaz Denoise and then I'll use Topaz Sharpen. And uh, the for both of those, it really gives uh, a very good result. Um, spectacular. And I don't know why I haven't used it before. Uh, I only just found it. So they do a trial, so you can download it and try it. But the trouble is, once you try it, um, you're probably going to want to buy it. I'm at the computer now. I'm going to show you just how good um, Denoise is good at getting rid of noise. Right, this is the first image. Um, we're going into uh, our crop and we're cropping about two thirds of the image. Now this was shot 3200 ISO and the uh, most important thing is to go into your detail tab on Lightroom and if you've got a bit of sharp in there hold the mask alt button and slide the masking key back so you're not sharpening the grain. Once you've done that you can uh, now right click and go into Topaz Denoise so, um, and once in uh, in the denoise, which can take a little bit of time to uh, fire up, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, and uh, you can see by this what we're going to do. You can use the automatic if you want, and uh, always push up the sharpening to uh, the maximum. And so we're just going to refresh this to see what this looks like. So depending on the speed of your computer, this can take a little while. Um, but we've got a split screen here. So once uh, once it's done its thing, you can see on the right hand side, it's clear of grain now. As we move the slider across, you can see how well it's done. And although we had the slider over sharpened, it hasn't really sharpened in this uh, sort of instant. So we're going to uh, accept that. And as I say, this can take a while depending on speed of your computer and uh, I'm going to fast forward this so that uh, you don't have to sit through the whole thing. So we're back in, this will pop the uh, image back into Lightroom. We're going to go on to the uh, library module and choose the uh, comparison and uh, so we can see the one that's denoised. Click there and no, I've got one to one, you can see the difference uh, it's made. It hasn't really made any difference to the sharpness of the item, um, but it's got rid of all the grain, so it looks much smoother, much a much pleasing image. Um, now this one is uh, underexposed, so we're going to go into Lightroom again, our develop module and um, we're going to crop it down, we're going to do a, a one to one and we're going to make it small, so we're about a third of the image now, maybe a bit less than that, about a third, third of the image I would say and uh, we're going to just go up, hit the auto button and it's going to brighten it up as it should have been shot and again this was taken at 3200 ISO um, so the grain is uh, quite significant, but always go down your detail, hold the alt key, 
and slide the mask in over so that it takes out so you're not sharpening the crane um, and from there you can uh, right click and uh, go into Topaz Denoise and again we're going to um, whack the sharpening up and um, we can put the auto and you can see it sets the auto and the sharpness down but I found that uh, if you put a sharpening right up it doesn't make a great deal of difference again we're going to accept that and see what that does um, um, and y you know you can go higher with the ISO um, and you can see the difference there it's, it's a real big difference so the image is now sort of buttery smooth and, and the grain cannot be seen so we've quickly uh, gone into our comparison mode and we're at 100% and you can see the difference. There's not really any difference in the sharp then, um, but it, it has got rid of all the noise, miraculously got rid of all the noise. Now we're on to the next um, example of these ants. And uh, we've gone into the uh, develop module and you can see the crop on this is probably about a quarter of a frame. Again, shot on 3200 ISO, and uh, we're going to make sure the uh, masking is not sharpening the grain. Um, we've gone straight over to denoise now, and you can see the job it's done. And it's just removed all the noise, makes the image look much smoother without any loss of sharpness, which you wouldn't be able to do in any other program. Again, this is the uh, last. Uh, example of this bee again shot in 3200 ISO and you can see it's removed uh, all that grain and takes the eye off uh, noticing that please consider subscribing um, if you like this video uh, hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be informed every time we upload a video be safe be kind and we'll see you again next time.